Hello, hello, it's Shell Anderson from Shell's Creative Corner. I would thank, like to thank you so very much for joining me today for this edition of Lunch Break with Shell. My name is Shell Anderson and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube under Stamp with Shell. You can find my blog post daily at shellscreativecorner.blogspot.com and you can find me on Pinterest under Shell Loves to Stamp. I do videos here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon. Um, and every Sunday I put out what's happening this week. So I hope that you uh, can come around and see what, what I have happening. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I am going to be doing a card that has mostly, it's mostly all about the die cutting, to be honest. And I have a bucket here, a little bowl that I have, I'll just pull out the dies that I used. I have been cranking out some stars and I used the three, or sorry, the four smallest stitched star dies. And yes, this bowl is magnetic, so that's why they're sticking to the bottom of the bowl. And I just went into my scrap bin and got some bright cardstock and die cut some stars. So, my card base today is, um, I wanted to say lemon lime twist, granny apple green. My matte layer is basic black and my focal layer is basic white so I also have a little scrap of black because I'm going to use that for a greeting and I am going to bring my machine in and I have to change and get a different plate just bear with me one moment because this is a three oops I need one regular plate for this one this is a 3D folder that I'm going to be using. So, just to add a little bit of detail to this focal piece, I'm going to stick it in the subtle folder and we're going to run that through just to get a wee bit of texture on that focal piece. Let's get this down out of the way so we can see what we have happening. That takes up all of our space. And there is all of the goodness right there. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my adhesive and I'm going to start layering this card together. And I am just centering this up. on my card base and then same thing with this we're just going to center this up on here and that should give us a nice pop and i'm just calling this the layering stars technique Basically, I use the Stitch Star dies and I'm going to use the Special Moments, that's a celebration set, for the greeting. And basically what this is, is we're just going to stack them up. We're just going to take the various images and we're going to, or the various die cuts, and we're going to stack them up until it's pleasing to the eye. But before we do that, we are going to do our greeting. And we're always stamping black on white, black on white, black on white. So today we're going to change it up. And we are going to stamp Versamark. Oh, I'm to find my stamp first. Versamark with um, white embossing powder. And see how that works for us. I'm just inking up my stamp with the clear Versamark ink 
and stamping it down. Oh, I think that looks pretty good. I know you probably can't see much right now because like I said, that is a clear ink. But you just bear with me a quick moment. And we will dump this into the white embossing powder. And I need a paintbrush because I have a couple of stragglers. Let me see if I can find a paintbrush. That's an empty water brush, but that'll work. We just want to clear off any of these little stragglers before we heat emboss or they're going to show. Alright, now I'm going to get my heat tool and this is going to go up to the high setting. And this is going to get a little bit loud here for a minute. And I'm just heating up the back of my cardstock that when I flip around to the front side, the back side's already heated and it should melt fairly quickly. I don't know whether it's close enough to the camera that you can see that magic happen. There we go. All right, now we're just going to grab our handy dandy little trimmer. Make sure that's dry. There we go. You know, I'm going to go in just a wee bit more because I don't want to risk cutting off the top of the letters. By the looks of things, that was a good choice. <laughs> All right, so I am going to make this side straight and then I'm going to cut a little bit off here and then I'm going to grab my snips and we're going to flag this end. While I'm doing this, I want to talk about my two new favorite greeting sets. And both of them are in the <clears throat> uh, new catalog or celebration. Special Moments, that's the one we're using today. This is a celebration freebie. And I also love this happy and heartfelt stamp. This is awesome these two sets will take you places let me tell you anyway that's just a little plug for my two favorite sets um let's get this right out of the way and we will come in with this now see this is how i'm planning on using that and see how that pops and then my thought is we are just going to scatter about some of these. Actually, I think I'm going to use the green one. We're not going to be able to use all of these. I'm not crazy about being able to have all of these. Um, and I'm just going to lay down the four big ones to start and I'm happy with that placement so I'm just going to put some adhesive on the back side of these I'm going to be a little generous because remember I heat embossed that panel to give it a little bit of texture and some interest there we want to be able to have these lay flat because we're going to layer these up and I'm just turning the angle of each of the stars. This one was going this way, this one I, I have it going in a different direction just to give a little bit more visual interest. 
And I'm going to pull that one up like so. And then this one is going to go back in the straight horizontal position. All right. How bright is that already? We could easily just pop on our greeting and be done. But the whole idea is that we are going to stack it up. So we are going to bring in different sizes. This is the same size, so we're done with that. Of each of these different stars. Alright, so we already have that, we already have that. Let's grab this yellow one. That's a duplicate. And these are duplicates. Alright, now we have a smaller red, a smaller green, a smaller yellow, and then we have these wee little tiny guys. There's a turquoise, a yellow, a red, and a green. So all the rest of these are duplicates. Now we may use some of those because like I said, I really don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just winging it. I'm thinking it's going to be fun to kind of stack these one on top of the other. Kind of offset, but still stacked. You know what I'm saying? Actually, I think I'm going to switch. And do something like that. Yep, I'm liking that. So we're going to just, once again, add the adhesive. And you don't need to use stars. You can use triangles. You can use circles. You can use squares. You can use whatever you want for your shape. You could use different size flowers if you wanted. Let's just take the die cuts and stack them up. Mix up the colors. You could do it in all subtles. You could do it. I'm using brights. I'm just using what was in my scrap bin to be frank. I am not making cutting full sheets for this project. I'm just using what I have. Alright, so we've got that layer on. Now we're going to stack it up again. And this time, I think we're going to go green, red, turquoise, yellow. See how cool this is looking? I don't want to get too much adhesive on, but I want to make sure that I have enough that it's going to be in place. And if you have some tweezers, this would probably be the time to put those into play. Stacking it up. Now for these next ones, we are definitely going to need our tweezers. Because those are so teeny weeny tiny. Let's see if I can find mine. Alright, now. 
that blue one went there, or turquoise I guess it is, and red. Actually, that red should go there, and this yellow should go here, the turquoise here. Oh, there's the green. I couldn't even see it. That way we're going to have all four colors on each star, but in different layers. Okay, so what I'm going to do is try to get a dot of glue on the back of this. And I mean just a dot. And then pop it in place. And we'll do that for each of these four. Ooh, way too much glue on that one. Good thing it dries clear. Gotta love Tombow. I'm going to try something different and put a dot here. And then we'll put the star into it. And wiggle it into place. I think that works better with this little teeny tiny star. There we go. How cool is that? All right, we need some dimensionals for this. We're going to put this on and then we are going to um, fill in any areas that we think might possibly need a little extra storage. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm going to cut that there and we'll go down to here. I'm going to use up these border pieces. And I think, okay, oh, no, there's just a little weeny whiny bit showing. There we go. All right. So my thought is to put this here between those stars. So let's do that. I'm going to line it right over to the border here where the black is. I said all the way over. <laughs> there we go. Isn't that cute? All right, now we will have a look and see if we want to add another star here or there, just plain, not layered. And I'm thinking these second size up ones might be the answer. What do you think? I think that they're needed. I really do. kind of finishes it all off. Another fun thing that you could do with this is you could take the new um, the pink and blue uh, glimmer paper and make this card. That will be sharp with stars. I think. even different colors of foil that would be sharp as well there we go now my friends that is our stack it up card and I use stitch stars now I'd love to see this in triangles or circles that would be really really cool you could use hearts you could use whatever you wanted but isn't that a cool card you can use whatever colors, just go in your scrap bin, see what you have, and get stamping. 
All right, that's it for me today. I'm out. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you back here Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at noon. Bye-bye.